So we're on hole 15 at Golf Club of Oregon, getting ready to hit a 130 yard wedge shot on a par three. So this is a shorter hole. There's a little bit of trouble in front. You can see the staked area where there's a hazard. And then there looks to be what used to be a bunker right in front of the green, but now it's just filled in with grass. So my goal here, I'm gonna hit a 54 degree sand wedge. It should go about 130 yards. The pin's on the right side of the green, but I'm gonna aim for the center of the green and try to put it there. So some things I need to remember when hitting this shot are I need to make sure first off that I have some good balance and my feet are shoulder width apart. Because I'm hitting a wedge, I'm gonna put the ball back in my stance just a little bit so it'll be off the inner part of my right thigh. And then because I'm hitting a wedge, I'm not gonna take a full driver swing here and try to kill the ball. What I like to do with my wedges, just to keep it simple, is I like to shorten my swing up a little. I'm still going to take my interlock grip. I'm going to set the club on the ground where it's going to go for a practice swing. And I'm going to come back to about a three-quarter swing. And then when I come through, I'm going to make sure that I hit the ball and then make contact with the ground because we want to put a lot of spin on this and get it up in the air. So with my follow-through, with my wedges, a lot of times I'll stop and about a three quarters follow through too because we're not trying to hit the ball super hard. We're trying to make sure we get good contact at the end of the swing or at the bottom of the swing and then we finish on balance after we hit the ball. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna line up, put the ball kind of in the back of my stance right off my right thigh. Make sure I'm aimed at the center of the green and then I'm just gonna swing and make sure I watch the ball until it's totally left the ground and then I'll pick it up with my eyesight as it's in the air. I don't want to be looking to see where it's going before I make contact. Okay, that was online, but it was a little bit short. 
So I'm going to make an adjustment since we're practicing and go get a different club. So I got another golf ball and I switched to a pitching wedge because we're just practicing out here tonight and I could see that I hit that okay and it still came up short. Same thing, ball off my inner right thigh and I'm gonna take a half swing or a little three quarter swing and try to make good contact with the ball. That looks better. And I hit it a little long. But you can see the, the idea, make good contact with both. I'm probably gonna need to take the pitching wedge next time and swing just a little softer to get to stay on the green. Thank you. So we're on our last hole, hole 18 here at Golf Club of Oregon. Getting ready to hit a driver. This hole is about 370 yards. It's our final hole of the night. As you can tell, it's getting dark, but I'm gonna to try to make a birdie to end. So I'm gonna hit driver. It's a little more risky, but one of the things that I wanna make sure that I concentrate on with my driver is I take my normal grip. The ball is gonna be based kind of, I'll move the ball up here real quick. The ball is gonna kind of be based off my left toe since it's a little longer club and I'm trying to hit it farther. And when I take the club back, I'm gonna make sure that I bring it straight back to get my swing into the proper spot at the top. A lot of times you'll see players wrap it here to try to hit it as hard as they can and swing it like a baseball bat, but that's not what we wanna do. We wanna make sure we're coming straight back into the proper spot at the top, and then you're coming straight back down the same line to hit the ball. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the ball on the ground. I generally hit the ball from right to left a little, so I'm gonna line up down the right side of the fairway and try to hook the ball back into the middle. Take my stance, it's off the inside of my left toe, which is the front one. Ball lined up in the middle of the club face. We'll see where it goes. Start it down the right side and hooking right into the middle of the fairway. So that'll give me a chance to make birdie.